Hello DIY viewer! You definitely have seen this type of solar powered outdoor motion sensing LED light, which is also waterproof. A perfect solution in places where you don't have direct electricity connection. If you experience all four seasons in your place, then during winter or autumn, it's most likely that your light will go to the dark side, because it won't get enough juice from sun and battery will stay empty forever. In that case you'll need to buy a new lamp, because there's no way of charging the old one. I suggest adding a charging feature for this solar powered LED light. This way you won't need to buy a new one, but you could simply charge it. We'll also add a bigger battery. Alright, let's go! First of all, we need to dismantle this lamp to understand where we'll put the charging socket. Open it carefully, because we'll need to put everything back together. And remember where each part is located in this construction. Opening the cover for each model could be different. For some it could be easy, for some hard. As you can see, doesn't look like rocket science. It's sad that battery is in separate compartment and we'll have to forcefully cut it out. With multimeter we can see that battery is alive but it's in protection mode and sunlight is not enough to wake it up. Now the hardest part, take out the battery. I hope that your LED light doesn't have battery in separate compartment. While cutting out the battery remember that these are lithium batteries that can blow up. Definitely do it only if you're at least 18 years old or ask your parents a safety goggles for help. Just make sure you don't push the sharp objects into the battery. Making lasagna is easier compared to this surgery. It will take some time and patience, but it will be worth it. Manufacturer didn't even imagine any charging socket just to milk your money by selling new LED lights every time old one goes dark. When battery is removed, disconnect both wires from it so that we can resume our operation. Now we have two options. Use the charge existing battery or put a new one that is bigger. I suggest putting a new one because manufacturer saved up some money by using a bad battery. I suggest using any other 18650 lithium battery element with bigger capacity. I will use a battery that is at least 3 times bigger than old one. We will also need a waterproof socket which we will use for charging. Find a place where socket won't disturb the insides of this LED light and drill a hole. Check if socket fits. If it fits well then use screw to secure it in place. Also check if it's even possible to put everything back together while socket is installed. Everything fits perfectly. Now solder two small wires to our socket. Remember that central pin is plus and side contact is ground or minus. After that, solder both ground wires. One that is connected to socket and one that was connected to old battery. Using insulating tape cover the contacts to avoid short circuit. Now solder both plus wires from socket and old battery. Oh my god, it's actually alive. Also put tape on this contact for safety. Using glue, isolate the new charging socket to stop any humidity from flowing inside. Using grandpa's nail polish, cover all contacts to make sure no short circuits happen in the future. Before screwing everything back together, check if everything is ok and works. Nice, feels good when you don't have to buy new LED light. Let's put everything back together. Oh jeez Louise. That's what happens when you don't sort the wires. Now I have to resolder all wires that lost their insulating rubber thanks to strong current. When all wires are in their places and all of them suffered, screw everything together tightly to make sure humidity doesn't find this free real estate. Check if it's working. Nice, beacon is lit and charging is also working. Congratulations, you did it. Hopefully without an oopsie like I did. To charge this headlight you will need lithium battery charger, links will be in the description. This type of charger will not overload it and will turn off by itself when battery will be charged. In total I have rebuilt 4 such solar powered outdoor LED lights. Now every 2 months I just remove the lights and charge them up. Because here in Latvia and Europe, in winter and autumn light is minimal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to put like and subscribe to give us your support for making these money saving DIY videos. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to write them in the comment section below. Once again thank you and bye.